Hey, Tony Purcell here, and today I want to share a story of an experience that I had actually today, and it actually came from church. Today's Sunday, and so I went to church, and there was a time in church where it, we were able to uh, share, and there was one person in particular who stood and shared, and what they shared about was they were talking about high school, and they had just barely uh, gotten out of high school, and he talked about how he was kind of nervous because his whole life and he had been continually told over and over again, enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy school while it lasts. Don't always be trying to think of, oh, I want to graduate. I want to get out of school. Just enjoy high school while it lasts because afterwards, oh, you're going to have all these bills and you're going to have all these worries and life is going to get difficult. And you're going to have all these responsibilities. But right now when you're in high school, it's so worry-free and it's just so relaxing. You can do whatever you want. You can just focus on having fun and just enjoy it while it lasts. And he was talking about how now he's nervous because he's done with high school. And most of his life, he had been focused on graduation, on getting through school. And that's been his whole life since he was six years old was school. And now it's all done. And now it enters the phase of his heart, of his life that's the hard part. And he said that. And then Everyone else that shared after that, that spoke about that, agreed with him. And they said, yes, it's true. Life after high school. So life after is hard. You have uh, more responsibilities. You have uh, you know, bills to pay, you have a job, you're going to have a family to feed, and all these things that made life hard and stressful after high school, they all agreed with it. And it made me so sad to think that our young people are actually being taught that this time of their life is so much better, and that life afterwards is where things get hard and life afterwards is going to be miserable and that they're believing it and that when they believe it and then they talk about it other people reaffirm it and they agree with it and they say yes that's true it's going to be hard enjoy it while it's fun because then later it's going to be hard and here's why it makes me so sad is because what I start to think when I hear that is I start to think about life and purpose And what we're really put here for. And I want you to think about this for a minute. And this is going to get a little bit spiritual. And I want you to really think. And, and however this works in your beliefs. And in your terms. I'm just going to describe it in the way that I believe. I believe that there is a God. There is this all-powerful creator. Who has put us here on this earth. And we're here for a reason. And I want you to think about this all-powerful being that could literally do anything and could create us in any capacity and put us anywhere. He could put us just straight in heaven or uh, keep us in heaven. But instead he chooses to put us down on this earth, on this earth that has pain and has suffering and death and disease. And there's killings and murderings and rape and war, all these dark, evil, horrible things in this world. What is the purpose of, of that like really what really are we here for and what's the purpose of that and here's the crazy thing is that most people spend all of their time on figuring out how to survive and you ask people why why you ask them why the question why and most people cannot answer and I'm not saying that people shouldn't go to high school. I'm not saying, saying nobody should have a job. I'm not saying that. I'm saying if you really ask people, do they really know? Do you really know? If someone has asked you, why do you go to school? Why do you go to high school? Why do you go to college? Why do you have a job? Why do you get out of bed? In the morning. Why do you get out of bed in the morning and go to work? Why do you do that? And for most people, 
they can't honestly answer that question. And the first answer is, well, that's what everyone does. That's just what you're supposed to do because everyone else does it. And But then if you really dig into them and you really ask them why, what's the purpose of doing all that thing, it'll come down to this. It'll come down to, well, it's to survive. You go to work so that you can get money so that you can then pay the bills. You can have a roof over your head. You can have a car to drive. You can have a phone to speak on. You can have a computer to do work on. You can have, you know, all these things. And, and then and then an enormous amount of things that uh, above and beyond all the stuff we need, just all the stuff that we want, but we buy it and we use our money to, to buy that. And then we're stuck again needing to survive and needing money to be able to just pay the bills. And here's what's so sad and what's so scary is that in my experience, now this isn't like a scientific fact or exact number or anything, just from what I've seen, most people spend about 90% of their thought energy, of their focus, of their direction, of their time, and of their actions all on this. They're thinking about how they're going to survive, how they're going to make more money, or how they're going to be able to save a little bit of money. And so much of their life is focused around money. You ask them, really, why do you go to high school? Why do you go to college? Why do you go to job? Why do you get out of bed? Why do you do all the things that you do? And for most people, the motivation comes down to money and to be so that they can survive. And here's my question. This great creator, this all-powerful, all-knowing creator with this incredible plan for us was the reason that he put us here on this earth so that we could just spend 90% of our time figuring out how to survive? <laughs> I mean, and then outside of that 90% of the time, how much of our time are we trying to figure out how to escape the, uh, how to escape this? How to escape life and how to escape what our life is, that survival. So that we can go on vacation, we have our weekend, everything we can to just we're so focused on that. We just want to get away from it. We want to get our mind, you know, away from all this stuff. We watch all the movies and the television so that we can live vicariously through someone else's life who looks more exciting than our life, at least for the two hours of time that we watch it. And that's what we do. So we survive and then we try to escape that survival. And then we try to focus on, you know, being a good person. Is that really what God put us here for? Okay, go here, spend most of the time surviving, live in this world of darkness and separation from me, the most brilliant plan ever created, and the whole time you're going to focus on trying to survive, trying to get out of that survival, oh, and then make sure that you're doing the right things along the way. There's a certain checklist of rules, and if you follow all these rules, then... You know, as long you know, while you're trying to survive and spending most of your energy on that, as long as you follow these rules, then ta-da, everything's going to be great and grand. And that just doesn't make any sense at all. It doesn't make any sense that an all-powerful, all-knowing God would put us on this earth so that we can then be distracted our entire life, focus on just figuring out how to survive. The truth is that we're here to learn and to grow and progress to the next level, to get to a higher level. God loves us so much and wants the absolute best for us in our, in our life, not just now, but forever. In our internal spiritual existence, He wants the best for us. And He knows that the best for us is for us to become the best version of ourselves. And part of that growing phase required us to leave and to forget who we were and to come to this earth and go through this time of darkness, the problem is that most people are so focused on figuring out how to survive that they don't actually spend any time on what they're really here for. They don't spend any time on learning how to grow and how to become a better person, how to understand and know and remember who they really, really are spiritually, and then helping other people. Because one thing that we know is very obvious about our life and our purpose here is that we're here with other people. We're in this together. If all it was was a period of personal growth, but God could have created some kind of circumstance and some kind of experience that we could go through on our own, 
but instead he created a place where we could all go through this together and so that we can help and we can uplift each other. And he's given to us on this world, we have so many problems and so much pain and suffering, but he's also given us all the solutions. And we have all the solutions and we have all the healing and we, for, you know, all the ability to heal those who have been through the problems in the dark times. We have the ability to solve all the problems in the world. So why don't we solve them? Why don't we solve the problems? I mean, talking about the real problems, the problems of, of all the darkness and the evil and the, the hatred and the killings and the war and all that. We don't solve those problems. And the reason why is because we're not focused on doing what we were put here to actually do. We're focused entirely on figuring out how to survive. And we've got an entire world of people who are asleep spiritually, who do not have any clue who they are. And they may be looking at you and they may be walking around and talking and in every way appear that they're physically alive. And they are physically alive, but spiritually, it's as though they're just asleep. It's as though their spirits are just asleep like this and unconscious and their bodies are walking around and going through the motions and going through the programming of what they've been taught, which is why you ask most people why they do what they do. And their only response is, well, because that's what everybody does. That's what I would have been taught to do. And we're just going through these motions and we're telling our kids. And because we're focused on going through these motions and life is just about how to survive Life isn't great. Life isn't awesome. Life isn't amazing and wonderful. Because if it was, we wouldn't tell that to high school kids. Somebody who actually, so there's a purpose that you're here for. Every single person has something, that a, a specific group of people that you are called to teach in a specific way in which you're called to help and serve those people. Everybody has that. And when you live your passion, life is amazing. Life is incredible. You are that person who your creator intended you to be. And you're living that life that your creator intended you to live while here. And it feels amazing and incredible and fulfilling. But because most people aren't doing that, they speak to high school kids and they say, geez, this is the best time. Enjoy it while it lasts. Rather than somebody who actually lives their passion. And what they would say to a high school kid is they would say, High school is great. Enjoy it while it is because you should live in the present and enjoy the unique things about that. And it gets so much better. Someday you are going to find your passion. You're going to discover that thing that makes you happier than anything else in the world. And you're going to spend half of your time doing that. And the other half of the time you're going to be able to spend with your family and be able to spend with the person that you love more than anyone else in the world. And you're going to be able to spend time with, with your best friends and with your children. And you're going to be able to raise a family in the other half of your time. You're going to be able to see all the greatest and most incredible things that this world has to offer. Because that's why you were put here. That's what you exist for. Is to find and to live your passion. And to go and, and to live it out and experience an incredible, amazing, wonderful existence. Because you are a child of the most powerful creator in the universe. And because you're a child of that being, you have endowed within you certain powers and abilities to make that life happen. See, it's not just going to be handed to you. That's part of that learning process here. It's for us to figure out that we're actually creators. And we've been given a certain level of ability and influence around, uh, on our own life. And we have the ability to choose and to create our own life. That's what I want to tell to high school kids, to kids who are in junior high and high school who are graduating and who are getting out. And that's what I want to tell to all those adults who are telling the children that that was the good time because life after high school is this hard, miserable responsibilities, bills, jobs, taking care of everything. That's what I want to tell you is that life is meant to be amazing and incredible. And it's absolute truth. That's just the way that it is. It's truth. Now, I said before that we're here to help other people. And when you find what it is that you're passionate about and the unique way 
the, in which you're supposed to serve the world, it's going to be incredible. And you'll, you'll live this an incredibly amazing, abundant life that you never imagined possible. And what you're going to learn, and something so powerful that I didn't understand most of my life when I was going through these motions, and what I learned one day was that you can actually get paid to truly help people in the unique way in which you're called to help them. In fact, look at the people in the world who make the biggest difference right now, who are truly, truly changing people's lives and helping them take their life to the next level. There are people who are paid very, very highly for what they do. And there's two reasons for that, because they're creating the most value for those people and their life. And it's really, really, really important when you're helping somebody for them to make a decision like purchasing something from you and putting some of their money on the line so that they can, in a way, step out of this and say, okay, I'm going to step out of this. Just my attachment to money equals my survival and I'm going to step into the next level. And it requires some kind of a commitment from them and them taking a step. And so you figure out what message you're supposed to teach and how you're supposed to teach that. And then you've got two options from there. Number, uh, there's, there's a lot of mechanics that go into figuring out how you're going to get paid to help other people so that you can take this off the table and not have to focus on that and truly be able to focus on this and put all of your effort and energy into it and allow your influence to expand because you have the financial ability to let that expand. You have two options. Number one, you can go and build an entire framework and there's quite an extensive framework and there's a lot of mechanics involved and there's a lot of things to know to get yourself to a point where you're living that mission and you're teaching people and you're helping people and you have all your own products and you're speaking on stage and you're doing all those things that you want to do and helping the people in the way that you're supposed to help them and teaching the message that you're called to teach. Or number two, you can take an existing framework so you don't have to spend years building that and you just go and you focus on teaching your message and you start making money immediately because the entire framework is there. All of the products are there that are products that help and uplift and inspire people. And on top of that, you can be teaching your unique message and you can make money immediately. The exact same amount of money as though you had built the entire thing yourself. That's actually possible. And that's what the prosperity team is there for leveraging and power network. Prosperity team will take you and teach you all of the mechanics. Empower Network has the entire structure built for you so you can start making money right away sharing your message. And you combine those two together, you have all the mechanics and you have the structure and you go in and you immediately begin making a difference and you start today or you start tomorrow sharing your message. And maybe the first step for you is figure out what your unique purpose is, what your unique mission is. And Empower Network will help you do that. The, the, the video for the video hosting product uh, will teach you, will take you actually through an intense process that will help you dig deep enough into yourself and find within yourself what your true purpose is. Every single person, I mean, for that alone is worth way more than the $25 it costs to start within Empower Network. And that's what I want you to do if you're in that place. Either way, you find your purpose and then you go and you immediately focus on sharing your message and helping other people. And then you plug them into the framework of Empower Network so that you can help them. You can make a lot of money in the process, which allows you to expand your marketing and expand your influence. And it allows them to find their purpose and go and help start helping other people. Because every person that you really help and help them transform is eventually going to realize that they've got a purpose to help and transform other people. With this, you can do that all in one step because that's what Empower Network does. So just click on the button. There's a, a, but, a, a link or a button somewhere around this video. Click on it and, and join. Just join the prosperity team within Empower Network. It's $25 to get in. And live your purpose because life is meant to be incredible. That's what you were created for. The God of this universe, the great, grand, all-powerful creator did not put you here 
so that you could go through the motions of life like in a sleep zombie. That's not his intention and his plan for you. There's something so much greater that you were put here for. You're not meant to live life saying high school was the greatest time and now it's the hard time. And warn all the people in high school, enjoy it while it lasts because you're never going to have anything like this again. It's not what your purpose is. So take yourself to the next level. Make a decision right now that you are going to go to that next level. Figure out why you're here, what your purpose is, and that you are going to do it. It's not always an easy process. It's going to take work. It's going to take effort. And you're going to have to get yourself there. But I promise you, it is worth it. Join the Prosperity Team right now. And immediately afterwards, we'll be having a one-on-one conversation set up. And join right now, and I'll see you on the other side.